everyone, today we'll be reviewing the national flag of the Marshall Islands. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. The flag consists of a blue field with two diagonal stripes of orange and white radiating from the lower hoist to the upper fly. The canton is charged with a white 24 ray star. Four of the rays are longer than the remaining 20. The diagonal stripes as well as the star are somewhat tricky to replicate accurately. For this principle, the flag scores 7 out of 10. The flag was adopted in 1979 when the Marshall Islands began self-government after it had been administered by the United States. The flag was designed by M. Lane Kabua, who was the former first lady of the country. The symbolism of the flag is the following. Blue represents the Pacific Ocean. The diagonal stripes represent the two main island chains which make up the country. The white stripe represents the Ratak chain of islands, which are known as the Sunrise Chain while the orange stripe represents the Rolic chain of islands, which are known as the Sunset chain. The stripes also represent the equator. The radiating design of the stripes symbolize the growth and vitality of life. The orange color represents courage and prosperity, while the white color represents peace. The position of the star above the diagonal stripes alludes to the fact the country is located just north of the equator. The 24 rays represent the 24 electoral districts of the country, while the four larger rays represent the four main population centers. These four rays form a cross which represents the Christian faith of the people. The flag is packed with excellent, well thought out symbolism. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag has three colors. Those are blue, white, and orange. Blue and white are part of the standard set, while the orange is not. With contrast, the blue and white have good contrast. It's up for debate whether orange is considered a light or dark color. In our view, it should be classified as a dark color, and we think it has a contrast issue with the blue, though these colors still contrast fairly well. Overall for color, the flag scores 9 out of 10. The flag has no lettering, seals, or coat of arms. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag is distinctive. It bears a slight resemblance to two other Pacific Island countries. The first is Nauru. As we can see, the flag shares a similar dark blue field as well as a white star. Nauru has a single yellow stripe which is pretty different from the stripes of the Marshall Islands. The differences in these flags are enough to make them easy to tell apart. The second flag is that of the Solomon Islands. A very quick glance reveals a few similarities, but the flags are quite different in the detail, especially with the large area of green on the flag of the Solomon Islands. These two flags are easy to tell apart. Overall for this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. So now we've reviewed the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by five to get the average. So for the national flag of the Marshall Islands, we get a final score of 9.2 out of 10. <laughs> 